Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with your love reading. What are the true intentions in love with you? And um, I hope you guys are all well. Don't forget your Moon Rising and Venus videos uh, to for more information or clarification on your on your situation. The best way always is to get a private reading, right? So let's get started, you guys. Uh, before we do, thank you so much for all the likes, shares, subscribes, and comments, okay, and readings. And um, the bottom of the deck, Capricorn, was the King of Swords and the Ten of Cups. So you could be making a decision or at least, uh, you know, about a situation here, about a union, right? Could be a family for some of you guys. Um, you could also just be maybe analyzing it. Or there could be somebody who is a uh, King of Swords, right? Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or somebody behaving like that. Um, and the King of Swords can sometimes be, <clears throat> with all his wit and intelligence, you know, can maybe, maybe be dealing with somebody who is uh, detached, okay? So let's get started, you guys. And um, I have the uh, Angel Tarot here. The Ten of Wands is here. The Eight of Swords is here. And the Page of Pentacles, okay? So, <clears throat> you know, right now you're feeling some union here uh, is a burden here to you. And you feel stuck, you feel like maybe you can't uh, release yourself from it, but you feel stuck about it in some way here. And uh, maybe you want a new beginning here with the Page of Pentacles. You could maybe want to start something, right? Um, you know, to have a new start maybe with somebody. But the Page of Pentacles can also be about good luck because this is the Angel Tarot. It's a different deck, okay? So it has a little bit different sometimes in the meetings, meanings. Let's get started though. Right now, Capricorn, your current energy is the Knight of Cups here. Okay, so maybe you're offering love. Let's see why you have the Knight of Cups. Why does Capricorn have the Knight of Cups? And this is the Two of Pentacles. So, you know, this can be a few things. Let's see uh, why you are juggling. Maybe you feel juggled. We'll clarify the Two of Cups. To a pentacle, rather. I feel like you're making a decision. You're back and forth about maybe whether or not you want to offer love to somebody. Or this can be about somebody juggling. Clarify that two of pentacles, please, for Capricorn. Ten of pentacles is here. And um, this is showing up in, the, in your current energy, of course. So this is about a marriage or a union, right? Definitely with stability. And um, Let's see why the juggling card is showing up there, okay? It could be a few things. Ten of Swords in the reverse is what you desire, okay? I feel like you want to let it go. You want to let some kind of uh, hurtful ending, maybe a really harsh ending. There could have been betrayal here. I feel like you just want to let it go here with the Ten of Swords in the reverse. Sometimes it can talk about rebuilding, but definitely letting it go, letting these swords fall out of your back, Capricorn, um, and letting it go, let's see what that means for you, though, because letting things go sometimes can mean different things. Clarify these ten of swords in the reverse for Capricorn, please. Yeah, I just feel like you want to kind of get over this, right? You want to leave it behind. The five of cups is here. Uh, I feel like you just want to, you could have regret here, but I feel like you're sad and you just want to let go of this, right? And this is maybe why the eight of swords is there. You could be feeling stuck and you kind of just want to, you know, let this whole uh, maybe heartbreak or betrayal situation go away. Um, now, the Knight of Wands is how you're seeing your person. Um, let's give me a few things. Let's see, why does Capricorn see the person as the Knight of Wands? So we have the world here. Uh, you could be seeing them maybe as, you know, ending a cycle and beginning a new one, maybe taking the action to do that for themselves. It could be an Aries, Leo, or Sag, as I mentioned. Um, somebody could be a bit of a player sometimes. The Knight of Wands is an inconsistent and unreliable energy in a union or relationship. Clarify the world card. Why does Capricorn see the person as the world card? We have the Two of Wands is here. Wow. Yeah, so you're seeing them as definitely as either taking the action here to maybe end a cycle and start a new one. Uh, not maybe, but definitely here. They're carving out their own life path here. They could possibly be choosing between two people, uh, but it, for sure they're at a crossroads here, and they are ending a cycle 
uh, beginning a new one here. Um, let's see. Let's see. We're going to figure out that Knight of Wands as we go on with the reading. There probably is a fire sign here because now we have the Queen of Wands here, Capricorn. This is in their desire position. So you could definitely be dealing maybe with a uh, Aries, Leo, or Sag. Their energy is the Page of Swords. Let's see why. Why is Capricorn's person the Page of Swords? Hermit is here. So the Hermit, yeah, maybe there was a Virgo here, Taurus or Capricorn. I feel like you're, their, their energy, rather, is that they are looking, you know, they could be spying, maybe. The Page of Swords can be many things. It's communication, but it can also be thoughts. They could be thinking about, they could be really going deep here. They could be. They could be, a, you know, going deep, like, with their thoughts, like soul searching. Or there could simply be a Virgo here, right? Yeah. Queen of Wands is what they want. Why do they desire the Queen of Wands? The Ten of Wands is here now as it was in the Angel Tarot. Okay, so the Ten of Wands is here with the Queen of Wands. Your person could want, they could be a, you know, they could be an, a fire sign, as I mentioned here, but they could also, I feel like they're having a burden or they, they want something that is a burden. This is how this is looking. Wow. Clarify the Ten of Wands. Why do they desire the Ten of Wands with Capricorn? They could just be wanting to release themselves, maybe, and take action and leave a burden here. Um, this can be you over, this can be them. You're seeing them over here, Capricorn, as the world and the Two of Wands. Yeah, so definitely, that could be you, though, I'm saying, and it could be about them. You are, you know, carving out your own path and ending a cycle uh, about them, right? Because these energies are interchangeable, you guys. Don't forget that, okay? Now, the King of Cups is here. Uh, yeah, I feel like you're dealing either with a water sign or a fire sign. But whatever the case is, somebody, they have a burden here. Yeah, that they, you know, maybe they are the Eight of Swords, uh, you know, showing up in the Angel Tarot. But they have a burden here. I feel like they want to release themselves. Yeah, they could be wanting to release themselves from a burden here. Now, the Three of Wands is how you... How they see you, why do they see Capricorn as the Three of Wands? The Magician in the reverse. So there could be an Aries here as well, right? Especially when we have the Queen of Wands over here. Uh, yeah, definitely. And then and the Knight of Wands over here. So Capricorn, for many of you guys, have been dealing with a, uh, a an, an Aries in the past. Uh, for some of you guys... Uh, they could be seeing you, they're in the reverse here, okay, or the magician is in the reverse here with the three of wands. So let's go on though, because they could be seeing you as maybe not feeling empowered here, you know, maybe to make plans and, you know, to, to expand, right, to prepare, right, for maybe your next step in life. This could be them though. Yeah, let's keep going. You know, this Three of Wands could be here for third-party energy, Capricorn, but it can also be here for somebody could be waiting for their ships to come in, uh, maybe. We're going to get another card here, and we're going to put the puzzle together. Why is the Magician showing up in the reverse uh, as, to why, as to how Capricorn sees their person? How their person sees Capricorn? Okay, the Ace of Cups is here. I feel like, you know, it's either you or your person. This is supposed to be how they're seeing you. They could be this Aries. They could be the magician in the reverse. That could simply just be, you know, a fire sign here, especially with the Queen of Wands and the Knight over here. Yeah, definitely. Um, I feel like they are, you know, unempowered at the moment, right? Not feeling like they can maybe make things happen for themselves. This can also be a trickster. Yeah, the magician in the reverse uh, can be a big time trickster. Yeah, wow, okay. So you're seeing them this way. I feel like you could be seeing them as, you could be really in love with them, and this can, you could just be seeing them as having you in a third party with the three of wands here, okay? Yeah, and this can also be turning their back, or you could be turning your back on them because they were a trickster. Yes, that's what's happened here, happening here, okay? Yeah. 
The Four of Pentacles is the mutual energy between you guys. And this can just be the, you know, general energy of the connection. Why is that Four of Pentacles there for Capricorn and their person? Okay, so I have the Eight of Wands is here. All right, so I feel like, uh, wow. So this could be fast news coming in here. I feel like somebody's trying to hold on to something here and that there is change. Let's get one more card. Why is that Eight of Wands there? This could be fast movement. There could be changes within this union right now, but somebody's trying to hold on. Yeah. Clarify the Eight of Wands. Why is that Eight of Wands there for? Now we have the Page of Cups is here. Okay. So this can be, somebody can be open to love here, right? Uh, yeah, somebody could be open to love here. Somebody could be offering their cup with the Page of Cups here. Um, yeah, it could be about somebody who's holding on. Maybe somebody who's holding on to something else external to this. Uh, yeah, because there's a burden here, and we also have, you know, the Ten of Swords in the reverse, right? Yeah. Now, the Seven of Cups is here, and this is the past dynamic. It's showing up in the reverse. Why does Capricorn and the person have the Seven of Cups in the reverse? King of Pentacles, this is you, Capricorn, right? And I feel like in the past... Somebody either cut out their options here, or somebody came out of a confusing time here. Yeah. Let's get another card. Why is that King of Pentacles there? Why is the King of Pentacles there? Somebody could have felt they didn't have any choices in the past, maybe. A choice, maybe. Four of Cups is here. Okay, so in the past, I just feel like there was a third party here. There was unhappiness here. Yeah, it could have been that maybe, you know, maybe some of these options have closed, have closed up, right, or have ended here. Um, there is definitely unhappiness here. There could be rejection as well here. Um, yeah, and, you know, in the past, somebody could have, you know, rejected the other person because somebody else had options, definitely. Let's get one more card. The Empress is over here. This is the current dynamic. Why is the Empress the current dynamic with Capricorn and their person? The Empress is the number three, you guys, like a third party here. Eight of Swords in the reverse. This is the current dynamic here. Uh, wow. Okay, so somebody's releasing a situation here. The Eight of Swords is here in the reading in the upright. It's not really in the reading, but it is like, you know, a few cards that I've drawn. Let's see, though, with the... Um, the Empress and the Eight of Swords in the reverse here. Let's get one more card. Somebody could have, like, released themselves from a situation here. Maybe there was too many lies. Uh, definitely. Clarify the Eight of Swords in the reverse. Or just from maybe something that is so trying, right? Okay, the current situation, I feel, with the Page of Pentacles, somebody seeing the value here, uh, the worth, maybe in an Empress here. Yeah, that could be the case here with the Page of Pentacles showing up, you guys, the Empress Eight of Swords. Somebody could be having a new start here, maybe, too. Offering their Pentacle here. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Offering their Pentacle here. Um, yeah. About a situation maybe where they were in the past, they felt stuck here. Yeah, but somebody's releasing themselves for a new start here. Okay, now we're going to find out over on Vimeo if it is a new start with you, Capricorn, or if it is a new start with this Empress here. Uh, yeah, but somebody's releasing themselves from that situation, or at least from the feeling uh, restricted in a situation here for a new start here. I feel like that's what's happening. I'm going to be going over to Vimeo uh, right now, Capricorn, to talk about the block here, uh, any blocks uh, what they're hiding, what they're fearing, and their true intentions with you on Vimeo. Okay, thank you so much, Capricorn.